Good morning, everyone. This is Wicked Fox, and today I'm going to talk to you about one of the sniper rifles that I dearly love. Um, I would have to say it's probably got, might be the the top target acquisition. So if you're troubled by using a sniper rifle and you want something that has a more of a sticky reticle, um, I would say this sniper is going to be right up your alley. Um, you get it from a dungeon. You'll know it when you see it. <coughs> but I thought I'd uh, show you something as one of these snipers here. This is it right here. And this, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> I know this sniper rifle is great, but wow. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Destiny. Um, Destiny? <laughs> uh I don't know, have you guys ever had this problem? Uh, look at this, you can't even, can't even hit this guy. He's gonna work, make me work for my money on this, huh? So if you've had this, you're not the only one. You know, I get it too. I wish they would fix this, look at this. Wasting my ammo. <laughs> Trying to hit things that are not there. I think it is warping. Destiny, fix that, please. Alright, so let's get into the, the sniper. Okay, shot my guy. My turn. The uh, snickiness of this sniper rifle is fantastic. So, uh, I would recommend to definitely get the sniper rifle. Look at that. Good shot on his part. I was reloading. And I was stuck against the wall. It's a good shot. Good shot. Mm, love this sniper. Block this right here for my team so he doesn't come rushing out with a shotgun. Come on, show your head. No, you're gonna run. Let's get to a different position. Now we got a corner from both sides. Didn't get to show you a uh, sniper rifle on this this round, but. We'll show you it. Come on, show your head. There we go. Bam! I mean, it, it is sticky. Uh, this, I, I do believe it, it is the most target acquisition of all the snipers. And it looks beautiful too. I mean, it's easy to get. Uh, you can craft this weapon. Definitely craft it um, to your liking. I put snapshot on it. Anything that's going to give you um, target acquisition better, um, you know, targeting on there, whether it was like moving target or anything that has to do with um, landing your headshots. I mean, because this is going to be a, a one shot kill, you know, whether you can hit your headshots or not. Now, those grenades are just angled so they can't come pushing in. Got me two bullets. Good job, guys. Like 
364 to the head. <laughs> I didn't have to really aim too much for the head because he was already wounded. You know, so then it's just a bigger hitbox. 383 to the head. Oh, got him running on the side of the head. Gotta love that. That guy's gotta be pissed. <laughs> I would. <laughs> Didn't even see the bullet coming. One minute left, my friend. Okay, guys, you guys gotta push over towards us, and we're capturing the flag. We don't have to move to you. <laughs> the sniper. Uh, you know, you force them to come to you. I mean, you just got to think in the game, you know, what what gives you the advantage? Oh, <laughs> even hard scoping. <laughs> oh, man. See that little red indicator it lets you know exactly where they are when they're hard scoping. Now, if somebody sees you and you're scoped in, don't be there again. Because see how I I knew where he was? Because that's that's guess where I'm gonna push. I'm gonna push where I saw that red dot. So don't be there. You know that's why you change your positions. This guy just stayed hard scoping the whole time in here. Uh. <laughs> it makes it really easy, you know. I mean, you know, it's like you know where the person is, and if you're trying to hard scope, why, why be out there? And you know, it's like everybody already knows where you're at, you know. So you know they're going to avoid that area. So you got to get to a whole new location so that you can get that surprise attack. Three eighty-seven, three seventy-five. Ooh, just barely went by. Oh man, the sniper is just so crisp. And it's beautiful too. I mean, it's a gorgeous sniper. This guy's running for his life. <laughs> What the? Okay, Anubis. What, what's going on here? Anubis is down. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> well, at least I'm not having to fight that, huh? Pop your head out. Oh. <sighs> Little too much range. I can't reach him. Now I can reach you. See, I just slid out there, gave myself a little bit of extra uh, room to shoot. Oh, that should have been it. You're just gonna let me get the reses? What are you What are you doing over there? Why would you let me get the res? Dangerous sniper rifle. Try it. 
try it out. You'll love it. Great sniper rifle. Craft it the way you like it. I craft mine for speed. Um, everything in Destiny, I would recommend speed if you can make things go quicker. Um, because your movement, um, scoping in, I mean, is a must to have a snapshot. If you want to do like what I just did right there, I mean, you're using snapshot because you can scope in a lot faster than normal. And the sliding, you're sliding out, which is giving you that first appearance. You can see them first before they actually see you on their screen. And it gives you that second just to whip your gun um, towards their head and gives you that, that edge to, uh, to with the engagement. <laughs> so it's, it's a sniper lane, you know. I mean, people got to come out of that. And, uh, you know, I mean, you're going to you're gonna put your reticle where you think people are going to be. Like, that's a sniper lane right here, straight ahead, up on the top ridge. Now, as you play more and more of this game, you start realizing where people pop out. Say so this, a snipe, uh, sniper lane. And look. You expect somebody to be in that location. And then just practicing your shots, you, you learn to kind of whip your gun where you want it to be. But I would have to say your sensitivity plays a, a, a big, big game in this because um, I would recommend going and fighting Vandals. And if the Vandals uh, kind of like slide back and forth with the Vandal as he's moving left to right, left to right, it'd be like the same as an, uh, a, a person. And then if you overextend, that means your sensitivity is way too high. All right, that's it.